this movie confused that a lot of me. <laughs> and we've got, you know, this was my first uh, Lucio Fulci movie. Apparently the consensus on Lucio Fulci is that a lot of his movies don't make sense. Well, We we could we could we could conclude this one. Uh, you know, no, it's The Beyond by Lucio Fulci. Uh, wasn't a bad movie. It was just very confusing. There was some really good stuff in here, some really confusing stuff, but nothing was I would say bad. But it's just very confusing. And as it is an Italian horror film, of course there is the dubbing, uh, which you can tell that stuff is overdubbed gonna happen with an Italian horror film. But overall, I did sort of enjoy it. Let's sit down and we'll get to the review. Uh, so, to do a plot crunch would be very hard to do, but I'll try. Apparently, there is this hotel that contains the gates to hell underneath. It's like one of the seven gates to hell, I guess. And in the 1920s, there is a guy who is crucified on the wall. And another woman named Emily who goes blind. And then in modern 1981 time, she shows up to warn this other girl, whose name I don't remember, uh, who's now running the hotel about what's going on. And, of course, no one believes what's going on. It's very weird. Like, I don't understand, like, the whole thing. Like, honestly, I'm not going to be able to go, like, plot, you know, plot for plot here. Because it's hard. To, but, like, okay, so they make a big deal about how this hotel is one of the gates, to, one of the seven gates to hell. Then why is it at the end of the movie... They're in the hospital and end up in hell afterwards. How do, that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, there, like many times people go down to the basement and nothing ever, <clears throat> like there's weird things that have people die in that, but like it never opens the gate until they're at the hospital which the, our main character and this doctor guy who doesn't believe her at first. And then it's a Lucio Fulci movie, so there's zombies, of course. And this guy's an idiot. He's shooting them in the arms and stuff. It's not working. And he shoots them in the head a couple times. Then he continues to then shoot them in the arms and the chests. And it's like, no, you just saw the shoot him in the head kills him. So why would you shoot him in the arms and the chest after that? It makes no sense. Whatsoever, whatsoever, at all. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then, uh, I don't know. The gore in this. Surprisingly, I actually really, really enjoyed the gore. Usually with Italian films that I've watched, they, the blood mix is too bright. And there's like a teeny tiny bit of that, but otherwise, it looks just fine. Uh, but there's like, face is being ripped off and acid melting and there's, like, there's this woman who's there with her dead husband who's like the plumber I think plumber Joe the plumber you kind of laugh Joe the plumber Ugh, okay and then your husband's there and her daughter's there and like she gets all uh, and then falls over, and then a thing of acid spills on her, and the daughter just stands there and watches as the face melts, and then the daughter gets the white eyes, like Emily, but um, but Emily is not evil. She's trying to help the hotel owner, and then she's in her abandoned house. The house is apparently abandoned. And these zombies start attacking, and she sticks her dog on them, and the dog takes care of them. And then the dog takes care of her, like, bites her in the neck. Doesn't, why did the dog turn on her? It's not explained. It's 
not explained at all. Just I, I, I. Uh, there's good gorgeous scene with spiders that just oof. spider crawled in this guy's face and it like blood. I bought there's a, apparently another staple of Lucio Fulci is eyeball gouging and oh yeah, there's a lot in here. But the like the spider just the eyeball and then it bites the guy's tongue cousin. And it's really weird because it bites and then he turns his head so the blood can drip out and it's like, okay. Why does he turn his head? <clears throat> I don't know, but it really was weird. Uh, I did like the score. I didn't look to see who did the score, but it was a pretty good score. Although they do, do this one thing where the score is playing and then they, there's one point where they cut to Emily and she's playing the piano and it's the score she's playing. I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> there is the acting, like with an Italian film, you can't really tell with the acting because most of the lines are overdubbed. So you can't tell if they're good acting or not. I believe that the Italian actors are doing a good job, but with their voice being overdubbed, it just sounds like they've been going really acting and it comes out, we have to stop them. We have to do something. There is a gate to hell. This is what it comes off at. And it just, you know, not everyone can be like that lady in pieces yelling, yo, bastards! And literally, if you're watching the headphones, you're going to, ears are going to pop. <clears throat> but, yeah, for the most part, I didn't enjoy this. There's really not much to say. If I could explain everything in this movie, if I tried to explain, we'd be here forever. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just really weird. And again, I should mention, I should mention this. If I sound nasally a little weird, I got a cold. So, something off. But I'm going to keep on trucking with these reviews. Uh, I'm going to give this the middle of the road. It's really weird. Like, maybe Fulci... I like Argento. Maybe Fulci is not for me. I don't know. This was a little weird. But, um, yeah, it's the middle of the road for me. Uh, sorry, it's a short one, but it's really not. I really don't know how to explain some of this stuff. But I did enjoy it. It was just weird. So it's the middle of the road because I really can't. I can't explain anything. How am I supposed to, you know. But uh, what are your thoughts on the beyond? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.